All right. How did you get involved with the choir? I joined the choir when I was a sophomore, so four years ago. And I joined because I started coming to SLU for church because I had a friend from back home who enjoyed coming here, so I came with her. And then the next year I decided that I really wanted to get more involved in the Mass. Awesome. Now you uh, have been away from the choir for a bit and then you've come back, so tell me what that's been like. It's been so amazing. I, you, there's a phrase, you never know what you missed until you don't have it anymore. And I've pretty much always been involved in a choir at whatever church I was uh, growing up back at home. And so it was really tough to go to church and then not have a choir be there. Regardless of whether or not I was in the choir, I feel like having a choir really adds a wonderful dimension to the church and a wonderful community to be a part of. Instead of just going to Mass by myself, yeah. there was some people who I could be around and share a nice look with mm -hmm. and a smile, even yeah. though you couldn't see the smile, yeah. but an eye smile. Yeah. Tell me about that experience of being at Mass and uh, doing choir. What does that do for your experience of, of Mass? I had an old choir teacher growing up when I was at Catholic school who told me that singing is praying twice. Hmm. So whenever I'm singing at Mass, I really feel more connected to the Mass. And it's really amazing to see how the different readings we have for the day are matched with the different music that we sing and how everything just seems to come into more clarity with when we're singing. And also it's a really great way to be connected to other people since uh, when there's readings, there's the lector who is lecturing and the rest of the congregation is listening. Mm. But when we all sing, we all sing together. Mm. And that's a really beautiful time that we can share as a full community of the church. Lovely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.